So now that we've subscribed, we know that all of the information in our database will have been updated as we saw earlier. We've got a Stripe active, but we want to be able to cancel our subscription now. As I mentioned at the start of the series, when you cancel a subscription, the Stripe active uh, field in your database won't be set to zero. That's because you've paid for a month up front. So what will happen is the uh, unsubscribe process will basically mean that you still remain a premium member or a subscribed member, but only up until the date uh, a month from now, basically, or a month from when you uh, first subscribed. So let's take a look at a couple more pieces of uh, cashier functionality that we can use to check if the user has cancelled. So I'm going to create an if statement just here. I'm going to say if user cancelled. And I'm going to end that if there. And I'm going to say here you are not subscribed or something like that. We'll change this a bit later to tell the user when their subscription does actually end. But let's look at the actual um, unsubscription process. This is extremely simple. I'm going to create an unordered list here just with a few links in. So this link is going to be to unsubscribe. So cancel my subscription. And we want to link through here to a root. So inside of roots, let's create that now. So before a user can cancel, we want to make sure they are unsubscribed. So we need a root here, or a root group. And in here, we're gonna say before, we want to make the user, make sure the user is actually subscribed. Cool. So now inside of here, we want to say root get and this will be, say, cancel. And we'll give this a name. So we'll call this subscription cancel. And again, we're going to use the subscription controller. And this time it will be get cancel. So we want to make sure, um, this is really important, that before we do anything here, we want cross-site request forgery protection. And the reason for that is anyone could either give someone the link or embed the link in an image resource. This would cancel the user's account. You can set up a form and use post here, but all I'm going to do is, on this link that I generate here, and we know the route now, so we can say URL action subscription cancel I think that's what we called it yeah what we can do is on the end of here we can say token equals and then we can generate a token here cross site request forgery token helper so now when I hit enter on here we've got the cancel my subscription link which if we inspect we have the token on here so if this token is modified, it won't let us go through to this link. So it's important that we do have that protection. So when I click cancel my subscription, we obviously don't have this method. So let's go ahead and create this now on the subscription controller. So down here, we create this down here, get cancel. And this is extremely easy. All we need to do is say this user subscription cancel. Easy as that. And then we obviously want to redirect the user. And we're gonna go back to the main subscription page and we're gonna pass a notice in here saying, sorry to see you go. So we've now got the ability to cancel. Let's just check that this works. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit cancel my subscription. That should cancel the user's subscription and redirect us back. So it says here, you are subscribed, thanks. And then we've got this message saying you are not subscribed. That's the message I put in there earlier now that this is returning true. So I'm gonna say your subscription will end on, and then I'm going to output the date that the user's uh, subscription ends on. Now because we now have carbon available for these dates, we can say user subscription ends at 
and then we can format that however we want. So I'll do something like a day, month, and a year, and we can check. There we go. So your subscription will end at then. So that's how we cancel a subscription, but we've got a problem. We've still got this cancel my subscription link here. And when I click that, you'll notice that that will return us straight back to this page. And it says, sorry to see you guys. So we basically perform the same action again. So we need to uh, do something to stop this. So what we want to do is we want to create another filter that basically says that the user has not cancelled. So under filters, let's create a not cancelled. So we've got a not subscribed, but let's do not cancelled now. So what we want to do is we want to basically uh, apply a before to this. We want to say not cancelled. And then now what's going to happen is when we click cancel my subscription, we just redirected and we don't actually hit that controller. But we want to hide this anyway. So let's do that now. So under here, we can just create an if statement. And we can say if user cancelled and just negate that and then we can end that if there there we go so now we won't see that oops uh, let's just check and ah, there we go cool so let's just refresh here and there we go so we're subscribed but our subscription will end in the next video we need to look at how the user can resume their subscription if they still want to continue to have a subscription after this date shown here